Hello, my name is Elena and this this is Jess International School Secondary School. Come with me. I'll give you a school tour on our secondary school so you can see what the school life is like for our grade 6 to grade 12 students. Follow me. Right now we're located on fifth floor where our grade 11s and grade 12s are situated. On my left hand side is the pod area where you can relax with friends or study or even spend your free time here. The pods area is the same concept in all the floors so you have sofas and we have the sitting areas like high tables or the bean bags on the floor. I really like this place because it's decorated with many plants so it gives you a really cozy atmosphere. If you come with me to the next classroom, it's the similar concept, but you have more privacy because it's in a classroom. Hello. So this is what we call the student lounge, which is for the grade 11s to grade 12s. Um, what's a bit different in here is that we have the microwave and a kettle, so if you want to heat up food, yeah. It's more quiet in here, as you can tell. I'll take you to the next part of the floor. Hello, Yana. So right now we're going to be going to the German sec area. As you may not know, our school has um, the German curriculum and the English curriculum. So mostly the English curriculum will be on this side and the German or the Abitur will be on this side. In here you can see students also studying, so it's also a similar student lounge. And here are some classrooms. And here's another pod area. Hello. What are you guys doing? Studying. Oh, nice. For what subject? Economics. Oh, good luck. Thank you. And if you follow me here, here is actually the university counselor, but there's no one inside at the moment. But you can come in. So usually um, Frau Maya and Mr. Walton are gonna be sitting here. So if you have any questions on university applications or you're just not feeling sure, they'll always be open to help you. Now let's go to the more creative part of our school, which is the black box, or also where students um, learn drama, theater, and they'll perform this in the auditorium. Follow me. Let's see if there's class inside. So, <laughs> this is Miss Stacy, our theater teacher. And we see our theater kids. They're right now practicing. These are the DP theater kids. So they'll be actually performing the Adam family this Saturday in the auditorium, which I'll be showing you in a bit. Let me tell you a bit about myself while we're on the way. So I'm currently a grade 12 IB student, which means it's my last year which also means that I'll be holding my final exams in this room. Of course, I'm a bit nervous, but once it's done, it's going to be such a relieving feeling. Right now, this room is um, also used for other purposes, like if you want to have some meetings, some personal meetings that are not that big, we usually hold it in here. Now I'll be showing you our school library. So our library has two floors, the bottom floor being for the primary students, and the top floor for the secondary students. Students can go into the library during their free time, lunch break, um, if they want to study with friends as well. So as you can see, we have many places where you can um, study and just meet up with your friends. Come on. Welcome to our library. This library has books in all different kinds of languages, 
Mandarin, Dutch, German, English, Spanish, Japanese, you name it. So this is probably my favorite place of the library. We have these couches. Um, hi. Hello. What are you guys doing? I'm working on my sports science right now. Oh, wow. Do you like to study in the library a lot? Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. You can get in focus. It's quite quiet, so it's good to study here. Yeah. I agree. See you guys later. And something special about this library is actually this egg where you can sit in here if you want maximum privacy. I think it's quite fun to sit in here. <laughs> On the sides of the library, we have the meeting rooms, where if you want some meetings, um, for example, for committees or clubs, we'll mostly hold it in there or also private tutoring. Hi, Rufat. Hi. What are you doing right now? My Oh, wow. Are you almost done? Yeah. Let's meet it tomorrow. Uh, good luck. Next up, let me show you our language rooms. Our language rooms are situated on fourth floor and our school teaches a variety of languages such as Latin, French, German, Spanish, Mandarin, and many other languages. Right now, I am actually taking languages German and English, but back then when I was in grade 10 and grade nine, we had languages like Spanish, German, and English all at once. It was quite tough, but it was really fun also to learn different languages and also learn about new cultures. Okay, so where I'll be showing you is our Mandarin class. This is the French class. Let's see if anyone's inside. Should we go in? Hello. Hi. So this is our Mandarin classroom and our Mandarin teacher. Hi. What are you guys currently talking about? Okay, this is the grade six. They are learning about how to describe a person. Thank you so much. Wow. I never had Mandarin class before, so that's definitely something new. And next up, let me show you our science labs. Our science lab is on sixth floor, so we'll be going back up. Um, our school has si provides sciences like physics, chemistry, and biology. But we also have the creative sciences, which are like design technology and also sports science. Follow me. In here, we have our chemistry lab and Frau Kübler. But we just have a break, so... Yeah, this is the German section chemistry lab. Um, it's equipped with all kinds of things where you can hold experiments and lab practices. Our physics lab and biology lab are similar, similar the layout, so I won't be showing you that. Um, but let's me, let me show you the design section. So if you're more passionate about some creative stuff, that's okay because we provide the visual arts room and the design um, workshop. Um, on the left side is our auditorium, which I'll be showing you in a bit. It's really big and it's named by our founding father, Dieter Gumbrecht. And here is the lift, which staff and um, parents can use. But for us students, um, we're not allowed to use, although if you're handicapped, you can get a, um, a lift pass and you use the lift. Let's say hi to Mr. Atkins. He's a very passionate design teacher. Let's see what they're up to. Hi. Hi, Elena. What are you doing right now? Great tens are on their, their client designer project. Oh, wow. Are they doing lamps? They are. Oh. <laughs> nice, thank you. As you can see, they're working very hard. And here's our workshops, where we create prototypes. Um, what I'm currently doing in design is creating book stands. 
and we have some really cool machines like the laser cutter or 3D printer and we have a lot of them so we can all work on our pro products. Our design lab goes till the back. So up next, I'll be showing you the music rooms. The music rooms are located on third floor, so we're going back down. Come on in. So we have many music rooms, but apart from that, we also have rooms where students can practice for concerts or if they play in a band. See. So we are equipped with a variety of instruments like the drum set, the guitars, the piano, flutes, and many other instruments. This is our music room. As you can see, our students are practicing playing the violin right now. So now I'll be showing you the auditorium where our, stu our students perform, including the music students and the theater students. Welcome to our auditorium. It's very, very spacious. And our stage, our really, really big stage. And hundreds of students fit in here. Each chair is even engraved with students that have um, sponsored this place. So we engrave their names on the chairs. And our backstage crew. Let's say hi to them. Hello. They're working on the Adams family right now. Very nice. Now let's go. So now, I'll be showing you our canteen. Now we're finished all the classrooms. Our canteen also has um, a student kitchen. Well, we can't really go in there if we're hungry and just bake something. But if you have any bake sale project, um, for example, for me, we were baking with my friends and we distributed the cookies to migrant workers, which counts as our IB cast project. So that's when you can book the student kitchen and bake or cook in there. Um, our canteen is shared with the primary students and the secondary students, but our break times aren't um, during the same time, so it won't be that crowded as well. So currently there are no students because they're all still in class, but in a few minutes they'll all be coming down and get their breakfast snack. Our canteen has a variety of cuisines, um, such as vegetarian, Europe Western food, Asian food. I personally like the Asian food, but I think everything is really good. So some days they alternate the breakfast. Um, they have churros, they have sandwiches, or if you want something healthy, like a salad or some fruits. Oh, look at all that good food. They have pasta, we have curry. Hi. What, are, what will you be getting for lunch? Oh, I'm probably getting the chicken. Mm. What are you getting? Looks good. I might be getting the hamburger. This was our canteen, and now on to the sports block. Our sports block has the football field, which is located on the rooftop. We have the sports hall itself, where students play basketball or you can also play table tennis, badminton. And then at the bottom level, we have the swimming pool, which is Olympic sized. Let's go up to the rooftop first. During break time, students go up and play football. And we also have the running track and many other equipment. We're going to be passing our satellite bar, which is a sandwich bar. Similar concept to Subway, where you can choose your bread and choose your um, what you want inside. And look at all those medals our students have won and trophies. Let's go up. So up here we also have tournaments, for example, um, football matches with other schools that will be host hosted here. It's very, very big. 
Look at this. So here we have the racetrack that, go, that goes around. And on this side, if parents are watching or you want to support your friends and the match, you can sit here. If you follow our TikTok page or our Instagram page, you'll see some videos where our students um, have a match and it's a very fun time. Yeah. This was our rooftop. Now let's go down to see how the sports hall looks like. Here we have pictures of some memorable past events from our school and our competitive teams also go outside of Singapore. So for example, our football team and swimming team previously went to Thailand to compete. This is our sports hall. So here we have our table tennis and down there students having probably gymnastics. And our really big sports hall is divided into little sections so you can divide the classes. And the same concept goes till the back. And as you can see up there, we have the basketball hoops, which can be put down if there is a basketball match or if you have class. This is our sports hall. Let's go down to see the swimming pool. Welcome to our Olympic sized swimming pool. I really, really love this place. It's huge and you really feel like you're a professional swimmer. Even look at this really big wall art. Wow. At the back, we have a baby pool for the little kids, but we are mostly in here. We also have professional lifeguards um, in case something happens. So even on rainy days, you can come here and for your swimming lessons. So now that I've showed you our secondary school, we'll be going back to the forum, the center point of our school, and we'll finish off this video. Now we've come to the end of the video. We're now located in the forum. You see kids playing and they spent their lunch breaks here. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon at Jess International School. Bye.